cast a closer walk with thee. Granted, Jesus is my plea. Daily walking close to thee. Let it be, dear Lord, let it be. Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? Good, I hope. Today is another glorious day that the Lord has made. Amen. Amen. Today behind me, I have some beautiful flowers. They're like a lilac color, you know, purple. Um, so, so beautiful. I love roses. I thought I would put that up again for you to look at and enjoy while I read my daily devotions. Let's go ahead and begin with Joel Osteen's The Power of I Am. Today's title is Fulfill Your Assignment. He who plants and he who waters are one in importance and esteem, working together the same purpose, but each will receive his own reward. That's from 1 Corinthians 3, 8 AMP. God is not going to judge you based on your neighbor's gift or your brother's gift or by how high you rose in the company. He is going to judge you based on the assignment that he has given you. Did you run your race? Not, did you outperform your neighbor or were you more successful than your brother? You're not competing with them. You're running a different race. Queen Esther was gifted to save her nation. The mother was gifted to make the sack lunch that was used to feed thousands. Two different assignments, two different giftings. God is not going to say, Esther, I'm prouder of you. You did so much more than the boy's mother who just made a little lunch. No, it's all going to be about whether or not we fulfilled our assignment. Thank you, Father. We hear you. Thank you, Joel for that devotional it doesn't matter what we do but whatever god calls us to do and whatever however he created us we have a certain gift that he gifted us use it use it be good at it glorify god with it because you don't know like that mom never dreamed of this lunch that she made for her son would feed thousands of people yeah miracles miracles happen every single day so if you're going to make a lunch for your son or your daughter, make it with all your heart and make it really, really good. All right. And now reading of the Holy Bible today, I'm going to read a verse from 2 Corinthians 2.14. But thanks be to God who always leads us in triumphal procession in Christ and through us spreads everywhere the fragrance of the knowledge of him. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Father. And now, for David C. Hebner's Clear My Vision. We who have run for our very lives to God have every reason to grab the promised hope with both hands and never letting go. It's an unbreakable spiritual lifeline reaching past all appearances right to the very presence of God where Jesus, running on ahead of us, has taken up his permanent post as priest for us in the order of Makazadek. Makazadek. Sorry, that's a long word. That's from Hebrews 6, 18 through 20. Wow, what a guarantee, an unbreakable spiritual lifeline. When we focus on God and run for our very lives to him, there is no reason not to grab the promised hope with both hands and never letting go. We run not as an exercise in physical speed, but with a desperate emotional need that says, I cannot go on for another second in my life without clinging to my Lord and Savior. Many of us have experienced moments of hanging on to God for dear life, only when we cling on to him all the time is the above promised fulfilled. Thank you, God. That is so true. 
Let us pray. I mean, yeah, let, let me read the prayer here now. Here's the prayer for today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for clinging to you doesn't take an act of personal will or strength, but an experience of emotional longing and neediness. I need you so badly that I don't ever want to live another minute without you. This is the definition of a spiritual lifeline. And I am so grateful that you made it unbreakable. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for this unbreakable spiritual lifeline you give us. We really need you. We don't want to just put you on the side and call you every now and then. We need you 24-7. We, we don't want to live one second without you. We don't want to do anything without you because we know that our strength is not strong. We can't do things without you, Lord. We need you. We need your love. We need your power. We need your strength. We need your guidance. We need your direction. And Lord, when we are open to letting you, Holy Spirit, come live in this temple that you gave us, miraculous things happen. So Father, continue to do your healing in us. Continue to mold and shape and fashion us. Continue to do the work that you call for us to do each and every day. Continue, Father, to bless us, Father, with the gift that you gave us to enhance this gift. And Father, let us practice it and make it really good and, and put our 10,000 hours in so that you could be honored and glorified, Lord, as we walk and show the world who you are in us and how awesome you are of how you work in and through us, Lord. Thank you. Thank you so much for your word. We receive it, we bind it around our necks, and we choose to live in it. We ask of all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen, my brothers and sisters. That is all for today. May your day be smooth sailing. May it be filled with beautiful sunsets beautiful sunrises wherever you are in the world. Until tomorrow, namaste.